Hello, this is Ev from McPherson Square Library, and today we will be making a homemade thermometer. So what you will need is an empty plastic bottle, a straw, some rubbing alcohol with the help of an adult, food coloring, and some air dry clay. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is pour the rubbing alcohol into the empty plastic bottle until it's maybe a third full. All right, that should be a good amount. Now on to the next step. So you're gonna want to um, put some food coloring in there so you can see the liquid more easily. So pick your favorite color. I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue and put one or two drops in. Right, so now we have our colored rubbing alcohol in the bottle. So you're gonna wanna remove the cap. You're gonna take your straw and place it in to the bottle. Try to have it like at the center of the top. We're going to want to seal the top so no air can get in or out. So we're going to take some of our clay and we're going to build it around the straw at the top. Airtight as you can make it. So let's get a bowl of cold water and a bowl of hot water and test out our thermometer. I have here a bowl of steaming hot water, get help with an adult with this as it can burn, and a bowl of ice water. So let's put our thermometer in the water and see if the liquid moves up the straw. So put in the hot water. Oh, I can see the liquid is shooting up. Is it going to come out the top? Oh, yep. All right. So that water is so hot. It overflowed out the top. Now let's put it in the ice water. And let's see if it'll go back down. Yep. So now it's down to about here. All right. You might want to use a different color than the straw so it's more stark. So I'm actually going to put some red food coloring in here and try this again. See if I can see it better. And I've changed the color of the liquid so that it is more visible as it'll travel up the straw. So let's put this in the hot water and see if the liquid goes up the straw. So you can see it moving up. All right, so I've changed the lid so it's more secure and changed the water in the bottom so it's more visible. So you can see when we put it in the hot water, you can see the liquid going up through the straw. Now it's here. Let's see. Yep, it's still getting higher. And so we put it in the cold water. Let's see if it comes back down. So right now it's somewhere up here. Oh, now it's here. Yep, so the temperature is heading back down. So I hope you have fun making this thermometer. You can measure the temperatures of different types of liquids. Have fun, and I will see you next time.